Hi everybody, it's an unexpected live broadcast. I'm just going to refresh and check I'm on the right page, check I'm on my own page. Um, and nobody was expecting me to come live now. I did say yesterday that I might go live um, this morning. Unfortunately, things happened that meant I didn't and I wasn't able to until now. But I'm good, hoping that a few people might come and join me. Um, just so I can have a little bit of a chat. But yeah, been a manic 24 hours. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. So yeah, I'm going to see if a few people will come on and I'll explain why I wasn't able to be here this morning and why I'm here now. Um, but uh, yeah, so pretty much almost exactly 24 hours ago, um, I took an order that took me over the 1 million career to date sales milestone, um, which I've obviously I've been leading up to for a while. Um, I would be daft if I said, oh gosh, what a surprise, because it's been a goal of mine for probably about five years, but it's it's kind of finally here. It's um, the weirdest, most peculiar feeling. And last night I was um, all over the place. I was like, oh, it's finally happened. It's actually happened and all excited and all everything. And I did keep it quiet for quite a few hours, um, but I shared it, about, I think it was about 10 o'clock last night. And I said I would pop on this morning However, car issues. My car is sadly at Marshall's Jaguar at the moment because it's got a little bit of a battery issue. And so my husband and I were racing around all over the place, dropping it off. And I have had long standing lunch engagement today all the way down in Milton Keynes, which is about an hour and a half away for me, although it took me two hours to come back in rush hour. So that was a long standing engagement. And I knew I had to leave the house by 12 o'clock, including racing around. So I'm back now. Um, the family are downstairs eating dinner right now. I thought this is possibly the quietest time I could actually come and do a live broadcast with you. So I just really wanted to say thank you to everybody who has placed orders, obviously, first and foremost, because that's what's got me there. But also to everybody who has cheered and supported so many of you from other parts of the world said, oh, I really want to place an order, but I'm in Australia or Canada or America or outside our territory. And just kind of knowing that you were there cheering on and going through my milestone. Where is it? It's here as I was ticking it off and just cheering. It's just that's amazing. And it, it it's I, do you know what? I live in a very small world in that I have the four offices, the four walls of my office. And yes, you can see they're sloping walls, not even exciting walls, they're sloping walls. Um, but my world is very big by the fact that it connects me with all of you. Um, somebody's asking, can USA folk work under you? Unfortunately not, I can work in five countries. So that's UK where I'm based, um, the Netherlands, Germany, Austria and France. So USA demos, uh, USA has to be USA, Canada, Canada, and so on. Um, but yeah, it's got it's it's a it's a huge deal for me personally because it's a major milestone. And Stampin' Up have just put up their social me media, and apparently I'm the thirty seventh person. And Stampin' Up, I think it's been going thirty one years, so the thirty seventh person. But also, what I'm really thrilled for, for particularly for the UK market, is I'm the first person in the UK to have achieved it, which means that the UK market kind of, it feels like we're a bit more on the map now. Um, and I'm thrilled that that, it, that I was able to do that. Say, so, yeah, okay, the stamp, you know, the UK can do it too. We can be million, million sales achievers too. So yeah, it's, it's, it's been a crazy few days. It's been a crazy few days, I think, actually to cross the milestone last night. Um, when I woke up that morning, I was still quite a long way away from it. Um, and mm. yeah, I just, I just didn't, I kind of thought, oh, is it going to be today? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And suddenly things really picked up. Um, and it's, yeah, it's huge. Somebody's saying they like my lippy. <laughs> it's uh, from Colourpop in, the Ameri in America and it's one of their Disney collection. I don't remember. Amanda's asking how I got started. Um, I crafted, I did paper craft, first started that when my eldest son was born. So he's uh, 17 in April. And I did paper craft for a couple of years. I stopped probably six months after my second son was born and he's 14 now. And he's actually the one who will be joining me on my 1 million trip, which actually 
is next month so it's it's about i think it's a, we fly a month tomorrow um so i stopped for a very 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 long time and then i had a very frugal christmas one year um so seven years ago i had a very frugal christmas when just everything it felt like we had lots and lots of people to buy for including 24 teachers and teaching assistants between the well it was three boys and my youngest son was at nursery there was an awful lot of people and I just thought I can't afford to buy a box of chocolates or a bottle of wine for all these people so I made them post-it note covers and little notebooks and they loved them and I kind of thought I missed this I really enjoy it and so yeah so I'm not even I'm not quite seven years yet as a demonstrator um, that's at the end of March and I love it. I'd never picked up a rubber stamp before I joined Stampin' Up. I um, had never die cut anything. And actually, I think it was quite a few months later before I actually bought a die. Um, I added a stamp to my stamp with my starter kit because I thought I ought to and I didn't have anything to stamp it with. I had no ink. So I was very much a paper and punch girl um, and I love what I do. I absolutely adore it. It's the best thing in the world i get to craft for a living but i also get to work with amazing and incredible and inspirational people in my team and one of them has just pinged a message so she, her face is roughly under my finger <laughs> she's just pinged me a message now um carol is saying i've been a demo for 2014 in santa barbara california i will never get to your level but i love arts and crafts you're such an inspiration do you know what carol i when i joined I, whoops, sorry, I'm bouncing my tripod. When I joined, it was, I wanted to discount because I fancied doing the craft fair scene because I had done the craft fair scene when I when I first paper crafted, when uh, Jack was a baby. And um, so I kind of fancied doing that again. So I joined because I wanted a bigger profit margin on the things that I was gonna sell. And then kind of I went, oh, my husband's shifts clashed with all of the stuff, all of the craft fairs, I can't do that. So I thought I'll have a bit of a bash at YouTube. So this was so this was 2013. And for those of you who don't know, I actually worked as a professional makeup artist for 10 years. I actually I think I put down my brushes only about four years ago, maybe not even that many. Um, yeah, so I did my my final paying client. Yeah, I think maybe four years ago. And um, yeah, so I'd worked as a makeup artist and it was very much the time when the beauty blogging world was exploding onto mm -hmm. YouTube. And I just thought, I, yeah, this face ain't going on camera. I, I do not have a skin thick enough to be critiqued on what my face does or doesn't look like. And I just kind of thought, you know what? But I could take crafting to YouTube. And so you never know. So I would never have said seven years ago and I actually I, ha I had heard of Stampin' Up but I hadn't considered that I could join it I would have never said at the point I joined that I would be a million seller that I would be the first in the UK to do it that I would have a team as big but also as inspirational as the one I have or that I would get so connected with so many amazing people all around the world so never say never uh Amanda's also asking where do you get your inspiration from to make cards I I'm a planner um i sit and go through the catalogue and go i fancy using that i fancy using that and i i will write a list of all that i want to use and i will expand on it and so i will pull out a stamp set and go well i want to make a birthday card with that or i want to stamp in pink or something like that so so i get kind of get inspiration from my own thoughts and things that um you know just really from looking through the catalogue and going well i wonder what that would look like in pink and blue or I might see a colour around me, something like that. So, yeah, I'm just going to scroll back through some of some of these messages. Do I get to start design a stamp set? I do. So I've already. It's it's very surreal because I'm obviously going on my trip in just you know a month's time. So the trip has been planned for a long time, which meant that. So those of you who've seen the social media that Stampin' Up put up, and I will share their post into here. That photo they've had that for months. I'm, a little bit thinner then than I was than I am now um so they've had that for a few months and so yeah a little while ago I submitted my thoughts and inspiration as to what I might want to put into a stamp set so I'm not going to share anything yet and I would suspect it's probably going to be a good 18 months before that comes out looking at there are four um, million sellers stamp sets in the current mini catalogue at the moment and at least two of those were a good 18 months ago so yeah uh i'm 
just scrolling through. You're all very sweet. Somebody saying, I love your 3D projects, your boxes and bags. Do you know, I love doing those. I love doing those. I think I find those the easiest to do, easier than a card. Um, I think just because, um, I, I said it to my dad one day and I said, you know, how, why, why can I just make all of these, these bags and stuff and make so many different ones? And he said, you're exercising your brain like a muscle, Sam. And it is, it's very much, I'll be designing one and think, oh, I could do that in something else. I'm kind of, my brain's already thinking about the next one before I finish the first. So, uh, Karen, I'm new to, I'm a new box maker and it's all thanks to you. Your videos are so easy to follow and I love the end result. Listening to your chats, keep up the great work. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I try to keep them as realistic as possible you guys know I don't edit I don't edit because when I first started filming I didn't know how to edit and now I don't have time to learn how to edit so I, you get me warts and all if I smell myself at the desk you're gonna see it so I kind of make them as real as possible so the only thing I do in advance as you know is I cut the cardstock um, so that's all I do and yeah I just have fun and I kind of teach in a way that I would want to learn I think um, so <laughs> Karen's saying I can't wait I will sure purchase it what oh Helen's asking me what do you do with all the craft things you've made well the easiest ones to show you are my cards and I actually keep my cards in a box so um shall I give you a sneak peek of something that's coming up let me give you a sneak peek of something let me find something for you so I keep all of them basically so all my cards when I've finished blogging them they go in a box and I use them for swaps I donate them I give them to people who work with charities things like that the 3d projects are a little different um, it depends what it is so if there's something in it if I've actually designed it specifically I don't know, say for candles or something like that and I haven't got anything handy those will get tucked to one side so yeah I do what I do what I can so let me see if I can find a sneak peek for you of something that I haven't got out I don't know because I've blogged so far ahead I don't know <laughs> I don't remember what I've shown you so I'll sneak peek you this one which is very cute and it's using new goodies so we've got new dies coming for these these three little creatures so yeah uh, Helen's just seen I'm live I'm just going to scroll through these oh sorry I, I use a gooseneck when I'm doing live broadcasts so um, it bounces if I touch my my phone at all. But yes, I am. I'm blogging off. I'm talking off my phone right now. A Valentine, perhaps. I think I have got a Valentine card in here, but I think I might have already showed that on my Instagram, which is that one. So I love that. I've been very determined to use this particular collection of paper and the stamp set, but in non-Valentiney ways. Being being British, we don't really celebrate valentine's day other than our other half so yeah i've got quite a few projects coming out using that you inspired me to make my own gift boxes at christmas when i hadn't oh that's one of my <laughs> one of my children coming up the stairs when i hadn't the time to go out and purchase when i also wanted a specific size i hadn't the tools i mean none whatsoever except cardboard and scissors but i improvised and used all the tips and tricks you taught us in it that came out much better than anticipated i was so proud i well i'm proud of you too that's amazing that really is. Yeah, you know what? A ruler and a, and do you know what? A dinner knife. <laughs> I'm live to the entire world. Are you eating a mince pie? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to come and say hello to everybody? Hi. Shh, not with that, because that's too loud. Hi. This is Oliver. Oliver is my youngest son, and he's apparently eating the very last mince pie. Yay. Yay. Oliver, everybody knows that you weren't even two years old when I started Stampin' Up. So, do you want to tell everybody how old you are now? Without, not into that, because that's too loud, it vibrates. Eight. You're eight now. And when did I do my first video? Do you know, do you know this information? When I did my first video? No. You've got mince pie around your face. <laughs> <laughs> I did my first video the day after Oliver's second birthday. Did you know that information? No. No okay right <laughs> so so oliver so those people that can you see all those hearts going up at the uh -huh. side of the screen they're for you uh -huh. well i suspect they're for you <laughs> <laughs> so this is my little ollie pops so he's the one so he doesn't appear in my 
um, mm. photographs. You can not on camera. <laughs> um, he uh, he. What do you do for me? Sometimes you do punching for me, don't you? When I've got lots of look at see look at all those hearts going up, Phoebe darling. Jeez. <laughs> so he will do some punching for me so sometimes he does punching you often stuff envelopes and things don't you mm -hmm. and you're desperate to eat that mince pie aren't you yes okay i don't think everybody needs to see that <laughs> going into your bedroom say goodbye to everybody wow <laughs> so that's my little oliver what is knocked tinkerbell off my chair Bye. <laughs> oliver's bedroom is the other side of this wall right here he's very cute so, but yes, I wanted to come in and I'm just scrolling a little bit more. <laughs> oh, movie star material. Um, uh, yeah, I just wanted to come in and say thank you to everybody. And just, it's <sighs> weirdly, wonderfully, I don't really know how to describe it. Karen saying a well-behaved young man. That was a good, it, he was good. <laughs> no, he, they are great. They're just normal children. I have normal children. They squabble, they um, don't always do as they're told. They're just ordinary children. They're just boys. And But they were forewarned while they were eating, I was gonna be doing this. <laughs> oh, somebody's got Oliver as their middle name, their son's middle name. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's, been an amazing yeah like i say 24 hours yeah it was almost exactly 24 hours and oh, i think i will be enjoying this moment for quite a long time but i yeah i just i wanted to come and say thank you in person um just because like, i don't think i could even write how i feel or how grateful i am to everybody who's who's got behind me to to shop with me to join my team to support and cheer from a distance other demonstrators have around certainly all over the uk have been cheering me on it's it's amazing and i think i i love that most of all about what we do is that you know we all do it together and we all cheer one another on and there's you know a, and a wonderful a wonderful feeling amanda saying time for the next million i will tell you this this is quite funny and i will I'll let you, it's going to give you away my age. So um, I turned 46 in March and I did, it did cross my mind to think, oh yeah, I could set a, I could set a goal. I could do my 2 million by the time I'm 50. And then I thought, oh, well, that's only four years away. That's quite a hard task. And then I went, oh my goodness, I'm 50 in four years time. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be a goal milestone, but, but I'm going to enjoy th certainly this because it's amazing. And I've, come home from my day out with an enormous bunch of flowers, a huge bottle of Prosecco and some goodies and treats. And um, some friends have ordered flowers that have arrived, flowers and champagne and chocolate has arrived. So <sighs> Deborah's saying it's okay to get up and run around. When it happened, it was in the middle of dinner yesterday and Chris had popped some pizzas in the oven because he knew I was busy. And it was kind of like, oh yay, mum, can you pass the pepperoni? You know, it was kind of, so, let me just have a, a whiz back to some more. <clears throat> While it's saying party, party. It's lovely to see there's lots of my team here. Uh, Carol, I have class this evening, so off to my cottage to do some cards and possibly that Valentine card you made. Luan, I wish I could be able to contribute from Wisconsin, USA. Do you know what? You're lovely because you, I, you did let me know. Oh, I wish I could. I wish I could. Somebody say March the what? March the 13th. It's a Friday. I have designed the project for it already because I'm a, I'm a planner. And Bibi's saying you love, she loves my lipstick. I like Colourpop. Colourpop is in the States. Dirt cheap. Brilliant stuff. Lasts forever. I have those kind of lips that when you talk, it all disappears apart from around the edges. So, Hello, <laughs> nothing like family to keep you grounded today. No, and I can hear two squabbling downstairs now. It is what it is. It's dinner time and it's been a long school day. But on that note, I will say thank you to everybody. I think there's a cat appearing. No, she's trying to get into something. You want to come and say hello, Barry? really show you because it's just off camera but she's just got hold of my metric plate that sits on top of the scoring plate and she's pulled it off the shelf 
<laughs> she is inside a couple of videos coming up naughty girl she's never done that before on that note before she completely destroys my office i will say thank you again and i should chat to you soon